Happy Blessed New Year's Eve to everyone. Uh, today I decided I'm going to share with y'all um, my foods that I'm going to cook for New Year's. I'm preparing it. As y'all can see, those are my chitterlings. Okay? And I'm getting ready to clean. Well, we already done clean them. I'm getting ready to rinse them real good. And so, um, this is my pot that I'm going to cook them in. And I'm going to share with y'all all my foods. Some of, all, some of my foods, I'm going to try to put much as I can that I'm going to cook for New Year's Day. I'm going to go ahead and prepare, prepare everything today so I don't I can rest tomorrow, y'all. I'm tired. Uh, and so, uh, that's what I'm getting ready to do. I'm, I'm getting ready to wash these. And I'm getting ready to put them in the pot. And I'm going to show y'all how I prepare mine, okay? I, these have already been cleaned. Like I said, me and my daughter and my granddaughter, we did this on Friday. I think we, we, we did we done it on Friday. But anyway, I'm getting ready to wash these up real good. And then I'm going to put it in my pot and I'm going to show y'all how I prepare mine and what, I, what seasoning I put in it. Very simple seasonings. And so, let's get cooking. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Uh, what I'm getting ready to do now, as y'all can see, I got some ham hocks right here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to cook these ham hocks. I'm going to cook them. And I'm going to, um, until they're, they get the, the texture I want. And then I'm going to add these to my fried cabbage. So, um, that's what I'm getting ready to do. I'm getting ready to add them in the water. And I'm going to let these boil. Y'all can see, I'm going to let them boil until they get tender. And as y'all can see, I'm going to let y'all see my chitlins. I hadn't put my season in them yet. So what I'm going, I'm doing now, I'm letting them boil just a little bit. I hadn't put my season in them. Y'all can see, I had, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to let the, the, it's something about the chitlins. Uh, the more they cook, the more water that you will take off. That's the way I do mine. You know, everybody else may do theirs different, but as y'all can see, I didn't have that much water in this, but it's cooking. The more it cooks, the more uh, water going to come off of it, liquid going to come off of it, okay? And so that's what I'm waiting on. I'm waiting on this to start boiling. And I'm going to keep it stirred. And then after I take some of that water off, I'm going to start adding my seasoning. I'm not going to add it right now because it wouldn't do any good. Just think, it wouldn't do any good. Because uh, I'm going to be pouring off, you know, the juices that's in here. I'm going to be pouring it off. As y'all can see, look over here. Let me show you. See over in this area, you see all of this right here, right here. Can y'all see it? Right in this area. Okay, right there. Okay. And so, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this continue to boil. I'm, I'm about to turn them down just a little bit. But, uh, like I say, I'm not going to put any seasoning in it. Okay? Okay, let me take y'all back over here to the ham hock. Okay, I'm, I'm about to turn this pot down on these chitlins. Okay. Y'all decided to share with y'all how I make my things, my, oh Jesus, my New Year's food. You know, everybody does theirs different. I'm just showing you how I do mine. Let me show y'all. Look, I'm going to bring y'all back over here. Let me bring y'all back over here. See? Look. See how they're doing? And see, at first, I did not have all of this water in here. I did not have it all in here. So what I'm going to do, I'm getting ready to do. I'm going to let this uh, start boiling a little while. And I'm going to take this, some of this, some of, some of this out. Because I don't, we don't need all of that. Because like I say, they're going to keep cooking down, keep cooking down until you have just a few. <laughs> just a few. Okay. Okay, let me find the top to my 
and my top to my um, pot right here. Mm. want to cook with me today and so I'm inviting y'all to cook okay I'm gonna put a lid on that and turn this down some okay this is what I'm gonna show y'all uh, these are the ham hocks I bought from um, I purchased from Walmart and so these are pretty good ones and so I'm just going to share with y'all that I bought these at Walmart okay and I also bought some this is what I'm going to put in my in my fried cabbage I got some pork jaws bacon and this is what I'm going to use and put in, in my to fry my cabbage with because I have ran out of my homemade salt jaws yes okay this is another thing i'm gonna show y'all look remember i was showing y'all all that y'all remember these chitlins they was at the top now look where they are see i done drain off some of the let me get y'all a little closer yep i done drain see how they go down See, they way up here, up there, and now that they're way down here. And, and I still got to drain off some more, but I'm not going to drain it off just yet. But what I'm getting ready to do, I'm getting ready to, to add my seasonings. Because it went down enough where I can. Okay, let me show y'all what I use. Just ordinary things. You don't have to go out and find this because it's just simple. I got some. Let me show you. I just got black pepper. I'm just going to add. I'm going to put my salt first. Let me add my salt first. So I just add, got some salt that I'm getting ready to add. And I add quite a bit of salt because, like I said, uh, this is going to boil down. It is gonna boil way down because this is near not nearly where these chitlins are gonna be in the end result. Okay, and I'm gonna add some black pepper. Let me open it up. Add some black pepper. You know, some people add uh like onions and bell peppers. I don't do mine like that. I don't no, but that's the way they prefer theirs, and I'm not going to criticize or anything. You know, everybody cooks different, but me, I'm adding salt and pepper. Uh, let me show you. I got some... jalapeno peppers and it's all those are the three ingredients I use in my chitlins only salt pepper and jalapenos I'm getting ready to cut these up let me show you let me move this okay did y'all see I got my my uh, sweet potatoes over there okay let me wash these I'm gonna put maybe three of the peppers in here Probably three. Y'all, I didn't even get my cutting board out, but that's okay. That's okay. See, I like mine spicy. Excuse me. Here. Know if there's a certain knife that 
using this is my certain knife. Let me wash these off. These off. Okay, and I'm about to take y'all back to the pot. Okay, take y'all back to the pot. So I'm just going to slice them up. Slice them up in here. They're going to disintegrate, y'all. So don't worry. What's that? Spice in this, I don't think it's going to disintegrate because I want mine with a little spice in them. Okay. And these are three large ones. Let me see. Can y'all see? Let me take y'all where y'all can see. say those are the three ingredients you can always add more salt if you need it as they cook down you can like taste the broth just a little bit just to see if you have enough salt like I'm saying right now I'm not worried about the salt because those are going to cook down some more them down just a little bit it's about seven and always uh this one thing i want y'all to do always go to the bottom make sure they don't stick make sure you scrape the bottom make sure they don't stick i know miss uh chris can cook the one that uh I watch as her. I love Miss Chris can cook and I also love Miss um, Carly Spices. I love to watch them. Them cook. And so um, I think it was Miss Chris can cook. Um, she was showing us some type of uh, some type of um, chitlins. And they were in a package. We have some here in Texas in packages, but I don't think we have that brand. It's Aunt Bessie's or Aunt Somebody's um, Chitlins. And they are huge ones. But here, we don't have that brand. Let me... Uh, I'm going to get ready to cover this back up. Cover that back up. Let me check my ham hocks, y'all. Let me check those. See how they... Yeah, they're doing good. Okay, what I'm getting ready to do now, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to move this to this, this, this. I'm going to move this over and let it continue to cook. Or I may just put my uh, chitlins over here where this is at so I can go ahead and start my other cooking because it's going to take, like I said, it's going to take these those chitlins a long time to cook. Yeah, it's going to take them a while. So, And so also these uh, ham hocks, these ham hocks are going to take a little while too. So um, I'm wondering why the things that I cook in are not cooking. Because I haven't turned on the heat on my ham hocks. Okay, so I'm gonna get, I'm getting ready. I'm gonna get ready to move this over. I'm gonna move this over. I'm gonna move this other one back, so I can go ahead and start some of my other cooking. Oh, y'all, this is a huge pot. I'm telling y'all, this pot, that pot is huge, and so. 
And y'all can see it's 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 almost over my, my stove. It is huge. And so I'm gonna turn these chills down some. And then we're gonna let my ham hocks continue to cook. Trying to figure it out, y'all. I'm gonna do it. You know what, y'all? I could be doing. I'm getting ready to peel my potatoes. I'm gonna peel my sweet potatoes for my yams. That's what I'm getting ready to do. I'm gonna be right back. Got some uh, butter here. I'm gonna add a whole stick. Y'all, if y'all want to know how I make my uh, can of sweet potatoes, you can go on on my channel and find a can of sweet potato. Because I'm not going to be measuring anything on this video. I'm trying to open it up, y'all. Y'all know how it is when you're trying to open up. Okay. Okay. Put that in there. Okay, y'all, let me find my scoop. I'm going to let this boil some. Get the, well, let it melt, see how. Y'all, this is another set, part of my set, for my Curtis Stone set. You where you can make, you know, gravies in. I'm going to add some sugar. Like I say, if y'all want this recipe, you can always go Cause I do it. I, I cook it myself, you know, several different ways. So, let me add a little water. So, what are y'all cooking today? Or tomorrow, what are y'all gonna cook for these? I'm gonna water to it. Like I said, I'm not gonna measure. doing I'm trying to get this ready for it just in case my uh, sweet potatoes get done but they're not ready because they're just now beginning to boil so it's gonna take a little while for those to boil okay. let me find my allspice if y'all like uh, cinnamon and y'all, cinnamon, nutmeg, no, because I used to use it. But I'm thinking this allspice has it in it. You know what? I'm going to look that up. I just hadn't had a chance to look it up. But I'm thinking they got cinnamon and nutmeg and everything. That's why they call it uh, allspice. I'm going to check that out. Let's 
Alright, it's coming along. I add a little salt in this. Like I say, I add that salt to uh, kind of even it out. I don't want all that sweetness. I just add a little salt in there, you know. that ball and, and 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 if it don't come out like I want it I always add other stuff but like I say go to my sweet potato candied sweet potatoes if you want that recipe okay I think I got everything going when I get finished with my candied sweet potatoes I'm gonna probably gonna go ahead and do my black eyed peas y'all I'm not going the, the long way this time with those black eyed peas you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use the canned ones and though they my family enjoy those canned ones just as much as they do the fresh you know the dried ones but I'm not going to do that this year I'm gonna take a break from that I'm gonna use the canned ones and I'm gonna show y'all how you can make those canned ones taste like the dried ones and some of y'all probably don't do it either. It, sometimes my husband, he'll make them for me for New Year's. The dried, you know, he'll cook the dried uh, black, black eyed peas for me. And sometimes he don't either. So what I'm going to do, y'all see, look what I got. Can. <laughs> oh. Yes, that's what I'm using today. Can ones. Oh, that's coming along. Okay, y'all, let me check on my chitlin. Y'all end up adding some more salt to them. Let me show you. And I can get this close. I want to. I ended up adding some more salt and black pepper. But now they're just simmering. And that's what I want them to do. Sometimes it don't take, sometimes it takes about five hours, four to five hours to cook. And sometime longer. It all depends. And so back on they those gonna take a while okay turn these up some let me turn this candid I'm gonna make my candid sweet potatoes I'm gonna have to turn that heat up I think I may end up making some, putting some more in there because I got quite a few sweet potatoes. I'm going to add another stick of butter to this. It all depends on how much y'all want to, um, you know, make. That's how much. I may add just a half a stick of butter. I don't think I'm going to add that whole egg. I'm just going to add like a half. that in there. Add a little bit more sugar. Add in that. A little more sugar and probably a little more water. I'm going to have to see how it turns out. Since I'm making quite a bit. Okay. Turn this down. 
I was wondering what that noise was. Like something's frying back over there. It's so sweet to taste. Y'all, I got so much to do. Okay, before I even start these black eyed peas, what I'm going to do, let me move these canned peas. Y'all ain't want this video to be too long, so I'm, I'm trying to show y'all some of my, the high points of some of my dishes. I'm just trying to show y'all some. Some of it. <laughs> if y'all enjoy watching the long ones, let me know. And I would make some long longer. I'll show y'all everything. Okay, my my uh, syrup is beginning to boil. So I'm gonna need to have to trim that down some because it's it's getting ready to boil. This is a pretty big pot of yams, and so let me watch this, y'all. See my turn it down a little bit. Let me move, try to remove it from the heat for a little bit. Let it. That'll help it, help it out some. No syrup. You can put a vanilla asterisk in it if you prefer it. If you want it, you can. It's optional. You don't have to. Sometimes I put it in there and sometimes I don't. I think I may put some in here today. Let me find it. Put a little bit in there. I'm not making that much, so I'm just a little bit in there. Okay. get a spoon and I'm going to taste this to make sure it has everything I want. It has the taste that I'm looking for. Okay. Let me see. Because I think the sweet potatoes are about ready. I'm going to add a little more Allspice, where did I put it? Okay. And I'm going to add a little bit more salt. 
another thing I'm getting ready to do is I have yesterday me and my husband we smoked a, a brisket and we are also smoked a turkey and so what I'm getting ready to do now I think I'm getting ready to go ahead and slice that brisket up so I can get it already get it you know prepare it for tomorrow I'm gonna slice it and I'm gonna put it in a pan and then tomorrow I can always add the sauce the barbecue sauce or whatever okay what I'm gonna do now let me check these sweet potatoes first but that's what I'm gonna also do I'm gonna show y'all how I do that yeah I think these are about ready let me let them cook maybe let me let them cook maybe a couple more minutes let me let them cook a couple more minutes because remember tomorrow we're not eating these until tomorrow I don't want them just done done because I want a certain texture to the sweet potatoes because remember I'm going to rewarm them reheat them tomorrow so that's why I see it when I see it I'm not going to um, you know I'm not going to cook them to the fullest because tomorrow they're going to be rewarmed and so what I'm probably getting ready to do I'm going to go ahead and drain them because they're almost about like I want them Did I say I want them okay yeah if the, if the fork can go through them it's time to okay take them off the heat okay. I'm going to drain these and I'm going to be right back Okay, what I'm getting ready to do now, I'm getting ready to, to pour this sauce into these yams. This syrup, I mean say syrup. Like I say, I'm, I'm, and I'm taking taking them off the heat because they need to be off. I'm not going to add the top to them. I'm just going to remove them from the heat. And y'all see? See how they look? Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, set them to the side. And just let them just cool off. And then I'm going to uh, put them in a container. And put them in the refrigerator for tomorrow. Okay. Y'all see? Let me show y'all how to serve Oh my goodness, look at this other. And y'all see? See how it looks? Y'all see? Okay. Like I say, I'm gonna let this like tomorrow. I'm gonna repeat this. And they should be good to go. Okay. Okay, y'all. I'm getting I'm getting ready to get that brisket out. Cause my peas. I'm gonna let I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the peas over here. And let them continue. Not the peas. The ham hocks. I'm gonna let the ham hocks continue to boil. And then I'm gonna get ready to start my peas, but not right now. Okay, y'all, I'm getting ready to prepare my uh, black eyed peas. Like I said, um, what I'm getting ready to do, I'm, a, I'm doing the canned ones. This is some all, like I have fried uh, chicken in. I'm putting some of this in there. Hey. I'm showing y'all how I prepare mine. Okay, this is some of that, you, you know, I was showing y'all that smoked bacon. 
that's what they feel that I'm putting in there. Let me let me check y'all a little closer. That's that um um the smoked jaws bacon. That's what I just put in there. And I'm also I'm showing y'all how I make my black eyed peas, the canned one. Okay, I added the bacon. And I have some onion that I have cut and ringed up. I got some gifts, y'all. I'm going to share with y'all. I don't know if I'm going to put it on this video or I'm going to put it on, um, uh, you know, by itself. I'm going to show you all my Christmas gifts. I'm going to show y'all my Christmas gift. The one that has something to do with cooking. Can't wait to show y'all some of my gifts. Okay. I let these, I let bacon and that onion saute. camera back let's see why wow, that's over there saute and here's the rest of that you know that salt smoke bacon what I'm doing I'm getting ready to cut this up for my cabbage I'm gonna cut this up for my cabbage I hear it. somebody come in and say, be careful with that knife. Yeah, y'all, I got to be careful. Very careful with this knife. Thank, thank y'all for being concerned about me. Okay, this is going to be for my... Yeah, this right here is going to be for my cabbage. And on this bowl. I'm going to set this in the refrigerator. Okay. Take y'all back over here. You don't have to saute very long. And the peas that I'm using, like I said, those are the canned peas. Let me see what I, how can I do this? I'm going to use some of the juice off the peas. Let me show you. I don't want to use all of this. So what I'm going to do, all that juice, 
what I'm going to do, I'm going to give me something like a strainer spoon. Kind of get them out of there. I may add some of the juice. Let me show you. Add just some. Okay. Because I don't think I'm going to use all of this. some of this but not all okay my ham hocks is over there just cooking away so are my chitlins what 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 do y'all cook for for new years can somebody let me know what do y'all do see this is a tradition right here that we me and my family, when I was a little girl, we used to cook these same, the same foods, like black-eyed peas, chitlins, or, and cabbage, or collard greens, or mustard greens, something like that. What, what, did, what are y'all traditions? Because you know everybody wasn't brought up the same. I can guarantee you that. Okay, I'm going to pour some. How much I want to use? I may use it all. Because you know some people, when, when uh, they like, uh, you know, the cornbread. So I'm, I think I'm going to go ahead and I may use all of it. I don't know. I may use most of it. Because they like the, they call the liquor <laughs> from the, from the peas. You know, when they make their, uh, when they make their plate, they mix the cornbread and the peas together. So that may be what I do, because some people do like him, some of my family. I don't have but a little bit left. I may just, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use it. I'm going to go ahead and put it in there. You see, it's not that much. I'm going to go ahead. I wasn't for sure. Okay, now I'm getting ready to add some of my other stuff I'm going to add to my, to my peas, my jalapeno pepper. I just added one. And I'm also getting ready to add some salt. Salt it to your taste. Spiciness. Okay. Another thing I'm going to add is some sugar. The reason why I didn't put a whole lot of salt because it's sugar. Right, that's maybe about a mm, fourth of a cup of sugar I just added. Just like I say, it, it, it all depends on how you like yours. You know, some people like that little sweet. It's a nice sweet taste. My grandkids, they eat, they eat some better like this. With that little semi-sweet taste. I'm going to 
let that boil down. Let me taste it first. Let me find me another spoon. Then I, then I go from there. It is hot. But I like that hot spice. It is hot. Okay, I'm going to add a little more sugar. Because I don't taste the sugar. If you don't want the sugar, don't add the sugar. Just season, them to, season, just season them to your taste. Like I said, my grandkids, and some of my kids, they eat them better. Because when my older kids were small, they did not like black eyed peas at all. So I had to kind of, you know, dock them up, so. Where they would eat them. If you don't want all that sugar, don't put it in there. Season it to your taste. I'm going to let these just boil just a little bit because these are ready. Just think the, the meat, because it's fully cooked, the bacon. But I fried it, remember? I fried it some. And so it's nothing to it. Everything is ready if you want the, you know, the onions and stuff. But they're sauteed with the, you know, with the bacon, so... Everything is practically, practically ready. May not be saying that right, y'all. <laughs> but anyway, they're pretty much ready. Let me say it like that. They're pretty much ready. Like I say, I'm not going to cook this all the way. Because remember, tomorrow we're going to warm it, reheat it. And so, that may be all, may be all I'm going to do to this. Make you ready to just let this cool off a little bit. And just put it in a bowl. Put a lid on it. And okay, set it in the refrigerator. But I gotta let these cool off first. Okay. I don't want this all the way like it's supposed to be. Okay, I'm gonna do extra. I'm gonna I'm gonna probably add extra stuff, you know, spices or something to it tomorrow. I may not. It all depends. Okay, y'all. I'm back. Um, I'm getting ready to fry my cabbage. Uh, as y'all can see. I'm trying to bring it up some. So y'all can see. It's kind of blurry. Okay. I'm getting ready to fry these up. Let me go ahead and turn my stove on. My ham hocks is almost completely ready. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fix it where y'all can see it really good. Fixing my tripod. All right, can y'all see? Okay, let me turn it. Okay. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I'm getting ready to fry my cabbage up. I think these ham hocks are about finished. Let me see. Let me check them out. Yeah, I think they're, they're about ready. Because like I say, um, I'm going to cook these where I, I don't want it all to be just completely ready because I'm going to warm all my food up on tomorrow for New Year's. Okay, my oil is in what I, like I said, I used uh, some oil that I had fried some chicken in and I have put it in in my skillet. Now I'm adding my 
smoked smoked um, jaws, jaws, jaws. Let those fry up a little while. Y'all, those chitlins are really smelling good. <laughs> Some people don't like the smell of them, but they smell, they smell, they are smelling really good. Okay. Y'all don't talk about me bad, okay? This a lot of people wanted me to do this video with the chitlins, and so. That's why I'm doing it. I can't please everybody, you know. Let me show y'all my chicken. Mm -hmm. okay. Let me bring them over. You see there? Look. They're getting ready. Look. They're getting ready. Got my peppers in there. They are getting ready. Okay. They're almost done, y'all. Push them back over there and put the top back on them. Okay, now let me get back over here to my cabbage. Okay, get back to my cabbage. Like I said, see, now I have finished my. I have finished my black eyed peas. I have finished my um, candy sweet potatoes. And I'm working on these cabbage. So like I said, it's salt, uh, it's smoked. Y'all, it's ready. It's already, it's fully cooked. So, and that's what I was cooking my uh, my ham hock for to go in this. I got my, my cabbage already ready to go in here. Y'all, I got so much cabbage, I don't know. I may have to take it out of this. Let me move this over some. Maybe I can do it like this. That pan is so huge. Cabbage over in it. And so, okay, I'm getting ready to. My cabbage is. If y'all haven't already watched the fried cabbage video, y'all go and watch it. And I'll show y'all step by step how I do it. Well, I'm doing it now, though. But I may leave out some things on this one that I may have on that one. This is a lot of cabbage, y'all. I'm cooking enough for my whole family. Anybody want to come by, they can. Because I'm going to have a whole lot of cabbage. I'm cooking three whole heads of cabbage. Okay, let me turn the heat back up. Okay. See what I'm going to do? I'm going to let these boil down. I mean, you know, they're going to cook down. Okay. 
I'm going to let these cook down. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I'm just showing y'all now the, the cabbage. I done put all of them in there. And it's a lot, y'all. This is a lot of cabbage. A whole lot. I think it's, it's three large cabbage heads. That's how many I'm cooking. Because my kids love cabbage. My grandkids love cabbage. So that's why I'm cooking a lot of cabbage. They loves it. They, they uh, eats it with hot sauce. They loves cabbage with hot sauce. That's what I'm doing with my fried cabbage. And I also got my um, ham hocks over here in that pot over there. I got them over there. When these cook down enough, I'm going to add these to them. Okay, I'm adding a little salt. And I'm also going to, let me get a bell pepper, not a bell pepper, a jalapeno pepper. I'm not going to put a whole one in here, y'all. Uh-uh. I'm not going to put a whole one in here. Let me wash this off. I'm just going to cut this. Maybe a half or a third, fourth. I'm not going to put a whole lot on not this whole one. Okay. That's good. See, they're cooking down. Now, this, this pot was so full. I had to hold it down for a little while so the steam could get to it. That's how much cabbage was in here. That's in here. Let me say it like that. That's in here. You can put onion in here. I'm not going to put it in here this time. But if you like lot uh, like onion, put your onion rings in there, or chop it up the way any way you want it chopped up. I got I got some more of this. Oh, from when I from the chicken, fried chicken. Add some more of that to it. Okay. Yeah, that oil, I, I saved that oil. It's some good clean oil, y'all. It's not just cook, cook to death oil, <laughs> you know. But. I think I fried some chicken in there once. Okay. Now I think I'm going to go ahead and add my ham hocks. Go ahead and add those. Okay. And 
and I'm not going to put the ham hocks down in there. I'm just going to let them sit there. Okay. And I'm cover them. You don't have to cover them. Since I have a whole lot, I'm going to cover these. But I'm not going to let these cook completely like I want them. Like I say, I'm going to reheat this tomorrow. This is going to be reheated tomorrow for New Year's. So I don't want these completely cooked. So I'm almost about to turn this down or off. Then I'm gonna turn them off. See how that looking? Okay. I'm gonna let that cook. I'm gonna turn it down to maybe maybe medium. I'm just gonna let it cook just a little while longer. Okay, y'all. And yes. And another thing, I add a little sugar to mine. Let me go ahead and do that. Let me add sugar in my black pepper. Let me add a little sugar and black pepper to it. This one black pepper. Because I don't want these to overcook. I do not like overcooked cabbage. So, but if some people like theirs cooked down, down, down. But I'm not going to cook mine all the way down, you know. Like I say, I'm going to let these finish cooking tomorrow. And they're going to be just right tomorrow. So I'm going to turn this heat off. Now, if you're getting ready to cook it, I mean, cook and eat it today, that's different. You let yours get to the texture that you like and turn them off. And sometimes you need to not let it get all the way to the way you like them because they're going to continue to cook for some reason. Them cabbage, if you got to make sure you take them off the heat. Because they're going to continue to cook. Okay. I just want to show y'all how I was going to do that. I'm just showing y'all my New Year's food. Okay, I'm going to open and remove this off the heat. 